Hello guys, Liza Hudson from Landing Page Guys here and this is a real quick video to show you how to display your mobile view uh, sales pages. So guys, before I jump into that, just a quick one. If you're currently watching this in the lab and you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you head on over, search landing page guys and hit subscribe. And guys, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not a member of our free Facebook group, make sure you head on over to Facebook and search landingpagelab.com. It's a totally free group to join in here. You'll find loads of tips and tricks. You can get free audits. There's loads of good stuff going on in here. So this video is a very quick follow on to, uh, we did five critical components for your hero section in five minutes. Now, what I wanted to do was just translate that into your mobile view. People are always asking us, what about the mobile view? And to us, they are both equally important. So this here, guys, is an example of a uh, sales page. This is following the ADA principle that we always talk about. So you can check that out in other videos, but basically it means you're going to capture your consumer's attention above the fold, pique their interest with your content, create a sense of desire, and of course, give them that all important call to action. Now, in this case, this is a mobile version. So this is a wireframe that we use for education and kind of uh, training in-house. Now, let me put this into the mobile view and I will show you that in actual reality, there is very little difference between a desktop version and a mobile version. It's more about maybe condensing things down a little bit, and there are some things that you kind of need to move around slightly. So let's look at the hero section on a mobile view. Now, it follows exactly the same principles. We still want to capture their attention. Um, we want to show trust. We want to show social proof. It's, it's about keeping those key components, but doing it in a way that's not overwhelming. So the first thing you can see is we're still giving people uh, the opportunity to show that they've qualified for something. They get their company logo and some great trust symbols right in your face as soon as we land. We then have a nice space for the product imagery. And of course, we have some room for thumbnails as well. So you can fully show your product to its uh, best, uh, to its best. Um, then with social proof, here's where there is a slight difference from desktop to mobile. So on mobile, typically what we do is we just use this star rating. So instead of having uh, on the desktop, you have the full testimonial and the star rating. Mobile, we go with just the star rating. Then, of course, you're going to need some sort of title, whether that's a product name, or hopefully you're going to use some sort of benefits driven statement and also key component above the fold is to give people the pricing and show any savings that they might be getting the final thing that is super super key to get on your mobile version view is that great big call to action nice and vibrant get your emoji on there make sure it's super clear so as we go down the next part, you can see we still follow up our call to action exactly like we would on a desktop with those uh, payment icons. So it's showing instant trust to people. Now, this is almost like an extension of your hero. So on your hero, typically you have all of the benefits nice and front in front of people. Well, just imagine your second scroll is an extension of your hero. And here's where we can give a description and we can pop in those key benefits of your product. We then follow the same format, guys. We make sure we put some nice trust here, showing that um, these guys have been kind of featured somewhere is always a great way of promoting your product. As we go through now, we'd go into the whole interest section. This is where you start to pique their interest with your content and breaking it down into a super simple process, which pretty much fits onto one scroll is a really good way of doing this. So typically this would be something like uh, order your product. Uh, we'll get it to you in however long, and then you're going to benefit because you've got great skin or great hair or whatever your product might be relevant for. As we go through, we then continue on that theme so we can start to use icons uh, and talk about the features because we've already talked about the benefits, guys. Um, and look how the, the padding is nice and neat. We don't take it all the way across. Try and keep things nice and centralized as much as you can. As we go through, always make sure, guys, you are repeating that nice big call to action with your star rating and, of course, those lovely payment icons. Also, guys, we repeat the call to action despite having a sticky call to action just because it's constantly uh, reminding people that there's an action to actually take. As we go through, videos are great. Um, you know, a video that promotes your product or service is awesome. So definitely get those onto your mobile view. And this can obviously go from side to side without looking kind of overwhelming. 
Again, this would show you just areas where you can fit more content in. And again, the same here now. Look how we can fit imagery and text and still have padding on either side, guys. The way you use your padding is really important on a mobile view. If you can avoid going from one side to the other all the time, it, it's, it's less overwhelming and it looks that bit more slick as you go through. Now, following the principles as we come down, repeat our call to action, we then go into our desire section, so your review section. Now, on mobiles, guys, it's up to you how you do this. We quite often put them onto carousels. Um, it's interactive with your thumb when you're swiping, uh, but also it prevents the page from becoming coming super, super long. You know, you could scroll through reviews for hours. Um, so definitely make sure you get that section in nice and tight. Again, here we're just showing you how you can place some imagery without it, you know, uh, being overwhelming and you can still get padding in, guys. It's super easy. The next section, of course, would be your frequently asked questions section. Do make sure you get that on your mobile view, guys, and, and have it so it's nice and clear and clean as you go down. And of course, the very last section, which would be that all important action. In this case, we've gone with the bundling option. Now, guys, wherever possible, try and get it so it almost fits within one scroll. And the reason I say that is because quite clearly I'm here now and I can see that this one is standing out to me. So this is the one I'm trying to draw your eye to. Um, and it has because I can see the difference between uh, the three. So try and get it onto one scroll if you can, guys. Make sure that you're ending on a bang with the big call to action. And that's literally the end of the page. There's no massive footer here. There's no distractions. This is just all about this sale. So guys, that is basically how you lay out your mobile view, which as you can see, is pretty much the same as your uh, desktop version. So I hope this helped. Quick video and I will see you guys on the next one.